That's not a crack. That's another blessed crevasse. There's a thin crust over it. Can you see Baldwin Betty? I can see a Chinaman on his way up. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one thing for it. Go back 200 miles and turn starboard instead of port. Build a bridge of ice. Wait for the spring thaw, except there isn't any. Thank you. No, I mean we'll have to unload again. Unload? You're off your chunk. Only we English could so believe in an idea. Nothing like the army, is it, Titus? Cavalry, not army. All the same to me, man. Let's just talk it across. Only we will so achieve it. Well, I say it's blast as stupid to unload if we can yank it. Well, I say we just blasted well tried that, didn't we? And let's ask the captain. Fine. Yes, Robert, what do you say? Not with the cheap tricks or the cruelty to brute beasts, but with the pride of English manhood. Robert, did you hear me? What? A crevasse. Do we yank or unload, Captain? Yes. Yes, of course. Um, Bowers, Wilson, slip your traces along the side and put them back into the runners. When I give the signal, I want you to haul like the devil. The rest of us, lifting here at the front corners. Ready, men? And he! <laughs> moved it all of eight inches further along, and all it's cost you is the ability to ever have children. <laughs> You're referring to that ungodly popping noise. That was Mr. Oates, thank you. Uh, My last one blew a couple hundred miles back. Putting <laughs> better on this side. I do hope we've seen the last of that soft powder. Well, let's get on with it then. Evening, Captain. Lovely weather for ducks. <laughs> Evans. Rises gray and not rises gray and not 